Mark, and today we're on our like sweetener Ariana Grande brand new guitar lesson series of her new album. We will be teaching the song Breathe In. This is an awesome song, it's really easy to probably go through the introduction that bit that I've been that bit that I was doing right at the beginning there as well. Like just so you have an introduction for this song. It sounds really, really good on acoustic guitar. Like I said, if you do a cover of it, I would love to hear it. So definitely tag me and always love to hear like um, people's versions, which I have seen you know, to kind of prove what I've show what I've taught you. But anyway, so I'm going to go through all of that and the chords. It's really easy and it helps you with your bar chords. Again, I love bar chords of this album. You can kind of see that if you look at the album from like a musical standpoint, you can kind of see exactly what she she uses the same kind of stuff throughout. But anyway, going along to the lesson today, if you like it, remember to subscribe to Plant Monk and hit our bell. Notification be told of the next great upload, and we've got loads of other Ariana Grande songs, including the actual song Sweetener, No More Tears Left to Cry, and God is a Woman. So, definitely loads more to check out, so stick around. So, the chords that we'll be going through today are G sharp major, G minor, and F minor. Literally, that is all of the chords that you're going to need for this entire song. If you already know how to play those chords, then skip right ahead, or if you don't, or just want a quick reminder, then stick around because I'll be going through those three chords right now. So, uh, F minor chord. You want to get your first finger and bar that across the whole of the first fret of the all six strings, and get your third and fourth fingers and put them on the fifth and fourth strings, third frets. So from the top, it's first, third, third, first, first, first. And then to play a G minor, literally just get the exact same shape and scooch it up two frets. So now from the top, we have third, fifth, fifth, third, third, third. And finally, for a G sharp major, literally same fret, same shape, scooch that up one fret and get your middle finger and put that on the 3rd string 5th fret so it's going, so from the top it's 4th, 6th, 6th, 5th, 4th, 4th again I'm going to apologise for my voice, I apologise yesterday for my voice because it's so I've got a really bad cold at the moment so I won't be doing as much singing as normal <clears throat> but I can only apologise, but it still does sound, it probably sounds better with you singing it so. So before we go into the chords, let's go through that introduction that I played right in the beginning. It's something that she plays on the keyboard, and remember, it's much easier to play the keyboard than in terms of like actual notes as it is to play the guitar. So if you are a guitarist, if you want to improve yourselves, always try to look for piano songs and converting them into guitar because it will, you know, it will really improve your playing. <laughs> song before she gets into the first verse. But you just want to be laying your first finger across the fourth fret, get your third finger and put that on the fourth string sixth fret. Just behind it you want your middle finger and that will be on the fourth string again, still the fourth string because we'll be moving we'll toggling between it. Fourth string fifth fret. Hold down your first finger really really down hard on all the other six strings because you'll be playing. Sixth string Fourth string, again with your sixth on the sixth fret. Second string, with your, you know, on the fourth fret. Back to the fourth string, lifting your third finger off to the fifth fret. Back to the sixth fret, put it back on. Reach your pinky over to the eighth fret, then to the sixth fret. So slowly, it's. Six, five, six, eight, six. Top, middle, bottom, six, five, six, eight, six. You may think about Planet Mark. Why are we why are we laying a hold of the first finger down if we're not playing most of these strings? Can't you just well technically you could Toggle just between like your first finger and getting the sixth string, and then the then the second string. But uh, it does. You kind of want the strings to ring out a bit. It just doesn't sound nearly 
is good. So that's the introduction. On to the verse. So I quickly play through the verse and exactly how it should sound, so just so you get an idea of what you'll be playing. kind of toggling with this G minor chord that's only really been used as like a transition as opposed to an actual chord that you'll be properly playing on. Yeah, you'll see what I mean. Like so we'll be doing like one bar of the G sharp major. So that's down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then one down stroke of the G minor. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Down, then one down stroke on our G minor. Then we come to our F minor chord, which is just the down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Back to our G minor with one strong. To our F minor chord, which is just down, down, up. And finally to our G minor chord, which is down, down, up. So sharp. For the first chorus, I would play exactly the same. However, with the second chorus, like when she goes, say it was a bit of a gap, so you kind of don't want to be playing anything. And then when we come back into the chorus where she starts singing again, it's. So that is exactly the same apart from we're missing out the variation of that we're using less G minor chords. So so for the G so the G sharp major we're doing down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So we're just completely missing out that G minor. Then down to our F. So that bit's exactly the same as it was before. It's just missing up that first G minor and the walk down to the G minor. So I'll go for it now with the chorus with the lyrics. So it's just keep breathing, I'm breathing, I'm breathing, I'm breathing. All you got to keep on breathing. Just keep And that's pretty much it for this entire lesson. That song is really just those chords, the variation of those chords and the strumming pattern. So I really hope you enjoyed this. It's a really great song as well. And tell me if there's any other Ariana Grande sweetener tutorials you'd like me to teach. Any other tabs that you've seen you'd like me to do. Or any what's your, and tell me in the comment section below what is your favourite song. So I can do it. If you want me to do it, then I will do so. But, but before you do that, remember to subscribe to Plant Monk and hit our bell notification to be told of the next great upload. And like this video, follow us on Twitter at PlanetMarkVlog or Facebook.com forward slash PlanetMarkVlog. See you next time guys. Bye 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 bye.